एक्सरसाइज सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हाउ लॉन्ग विल यू टेक फॉर ए सम ऑफ रुपीज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड इन्वेस्टेड एट ए नाइन परसेंट पर एन एम बिकम टू रुपीज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड सिक्स ट्वेंटी फोर हियर सो हियर द डेटा गिवन इज द प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट इज गिवन हियर एंड द अमाउंट इज गिवन हियर सो अमाउंट इज गिवन दैट इज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड सिक्स ट्वेंटी फोर प्रिंसिपल इज गिवन दैट इज And here the rate is given that will be नाइन परसेंट हियर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट द टाइम हियर सो फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट द सिंपल इंटरेस्ट वी नो दैट विल बी सिंपल इंटरेस्ट दैट इज पी आर टी बाई हंड्रेड सो इन दिस टी वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट वेर principal given rate given and a simple interest we are going to find out then we are going to input in this formula so we know that simple interest equal to amount minus principal so that means 15 64 here 12 600 then we get 3024 is the amount so this is the simple interest so we know that simple interest is 3024 principal is 12600 into rate is 9 and time we are going to find out by 100 here so when you are going to take time then 3024 into 100 by 12 Six hundred into nine, so that will be here eight by three, or two two by three, or two years. Here eight months here two years eight months. Question number two: At what rate a sum doubles itself in eight years, four months? So here we are going to find out the sum here. That means amount we are going to find out. So to find out amount, we have to find out the principal here. So let principal is x here and the amount will be doubled so that will be 2x here and we know simple interest is equal to amount minus principal so that will be 2x minus x so that will be x here so we know that simple interest Equal to P R T by hundred. So here x simple interest here x into the rate is eight years four months. So here uh, when you are going to convert into fraction, so that is one by three eight one by three. So eight one by three is equal to twenty five by three into rate. We are going to find out by hundred here. So rate when you are going to say x into hundred by x into twenty five by three. So here x x cancels. So hundred into three by twenty five here. So rate will be here four times four into three. That means twelve percent. So the rate will be twelve percent, and the sum will be doubled at twelve percent. Question number three: A child-friendly bank announces a savings scheme for school children. 
They will give kitty banks to children. Children have to keep their savings in it and the bank collects all the money once in a year. To encourage children's savings, they give 6% interest if the amount exceeds 10,000. Otherwise, 5% interest. Find the interest received by the school if the deposit is 9,000 for one year. So here uh, we are going to find out uh, the simple interest here. We are going to find out the principal amount uh, is given which is 9,000. If it is exceeds 10,000 then 6%. If it is below 10,000 it is 5%. The principal amount is 9,000 here. And uh, the rate of interest that means uh, it is 5% because it is less than 10,000 and a time is given which is uh, one year here. So we are going to find out a simple interest that is equal to uh, PRT by 100. So that will be 9000 into 5 into 1 by 100. So here 00, zero cancel 98. 90 into 5 so that will be 450 here the interest is 450 question number 4 a sum of money invested at 8% per annum for simple interest amounts to rupees 12,122 in 2 years what will it amounts to it in 2 years 8 months at 9% interest so first we are going to uh, calculate here the simple interest uh, already given means uh, the simple interest amounts to 12,122 rupees. So amount is given here which is uh, 12,122 uh, 12, and here the rate is given which is 8% and here time is given which is 2 years here we are going to find out the amount that means principal amount we are going to find out so we know that simple interest is equal to PRT by 100 so simple interest we know that will be amount minus principal that will be PRT by 100 here so amount is given 1211 1, 2, 1, 2, 2 minus principal now P we are going to calculate rate is 8 and time is 2 years by 100 here so here when after cross multiplication you are going to see 1 2 one one minus p so that will be 16 p by 100 next uh, 16 p by 100 here plus p equal to 1 to 122 here so after calculation here 16 p plus 100p by 100 equal to 12,122 so here uh, we are going to see 116p by 100 that will be 12,122 then p equal to 100 by 116 then P equal to 10,450 here next we are going to see the second question what will it amount to it in 2 years 8 months at 9% rate of interest so what will be the amount so already we got the principal amount is 10,450 so after 2 years 8 months at 9% interest what will be the interest we are going to calculate now so here uh, the given data principal that is 10450 rate 
is 9% and time 2 years 8 months 2 years 8 months that will be 2 uh, two by 3 that will be 8 by 3 here so already we know simple interest equal to PRT by 100 so that will be here 10,450 into 9 into 8 by 3 by 100 here then after calculation we get here 2508 the simple interest now we are going to find out the amount here so amount we know simple interest equal to amount minus principal then amount equal to simple interest minus principal plus principal so simple interest we know that is 2508 amount we know 10,450 so that will be 12,958 so this is the amount question number 5 in 4 years 6,400 amounts to 8,840 at a certain rate of interest in what time will 1600 amounts to 1816 at the same rate? So in the first part we are going to find out the rate. With this rate of interest we are going to keep in the second question and find the time here. First uh, question they have given the amount we got is 8840 in the second part uh, means next they are given the principal 6500 and the time given is uh, 4 years and we are going to find out the rate of interest here so we know that uh, simple interest equal to PRT by 100 and simple interest equal to amount minus uh, principal next uh, PRT by 100 here. So when you are going to see amount 8840 minus 6500 that will be equal to 6500 into rate we are going to find out into 4 by 100 here. Then a rate equal to so 8840 minus 6500 uh, when you are going to say that will be 2340 equal to 6500 into rate into 4 by 100 here then uh, rate equal to 2340 into 100 by 6500 into 4 here then uh, rate equal to 9 here so 9 percent is the rate after simplification so second part uh, at what time will 1600 amounts to 1816 but the same interest so here uh, we given data that is principal 1600 amount 1816 and rate we have found out that is 9% and T we are going to find out here. So now here uh, we know that uh, amount minus principal that is simple interest into PTR, PRT by 100 here. So amount we know that is 1816 minus 1600 that equal to 1600 into rate we already found out in the previous calculation that is 9 and we are going to find out the time here by 100 here so here 18 uh, 16 minus 1600 that will be 216 equal to 1600 into 9 into t by 
100 then t equal to 216 into 100 by 1600 into 9 so 0 0 cancel so after calculation we will be getting 1.5 here or we can say 1 1 and half years so one and a half year is the time to uh, increase from 1600 to 1816 here